I undoubtedly found the best free auto tune you can be using right now, so stick around for this video. Also, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for more auto tune videos. But anyway, let's go. So, this plugin is called Graylin 2, and technically, there is a paid version that you can get. However, the free version works perfectly well, and I 100% recommend it if you want to use it. So, in order to get it, you have to go to this website, the link is in the description, and you basically go to free edition. Once you put it in your designated file, then you would go over here to options, you go to manage plugins, and you go to find plugins, and if it's in the search path, it'll find it, and we can start using this bitch. So we got it over here, it looks pretty nice, right? I will start with the one downside, and that is that you can't actually choose a scale to put your pitch in. You have to manually, like, choose which notes you want to remove. So if it's in C major, like you remove all the black notes. It kind of sucks because it's a bit more inconvenient having to like find which notes you have to remove. But if you know what you're doing and you know your music theory, there isn't really a problem with that. Just to put you in context, this is how it sounds without any auto tune. It's a vibe, it's a vibe, baby wanna it's a vibe, it's a vibe. And this is how it sounds with the most notable auto tune effect possible. It's a vibe, it's a vibe, baby wanna it's a vibe, it's a vibe. Bro, you can't tell me it doesn't sound nice, innit? So there are a couple things that you can't use in the free version. So this pitch tracking mod is locked. This bit crusher is locked, which I mean, who cares? You can just get a free bit crusher and just stuff like that. So let's start with like the main thing. So obviously you got um, the correction parts. Why is there fucking dogs barking? So in correction, you have a few things that you need to focus on. Essentially, enable is basically just having the effect on or off. At 0%, it isn't working. 100% is that it's fully working. If you want to have like a bit of a mix or it's not fully auto-tuned, I mean, you can put it at like 50 or wh wherever it sounds best for you, basically. Smooth is basically, I guess you'd call it like the retune speed in the sense that like the faster it is, so like right now it's at literally one millisecond, it's when it has like that T-Pain, Travis Scott, like obvious sound to it. Whereas like the slowest side, as you can see over here, it's a vibe, it's a vibe, baby wanna it has a much more natural sound. So if you don't want to have like that obvious thing, if you want to still sound like a normal person singing i mean this is the go-to whereas this is for like the very obvious it's a vibe, it's a vibe, baby, wanna... snap range isn't really something i would really worry about and reference to is basically just like in what frequency you're singing and like the 99 percent of popular music is in 440 hertz so i would just leave it how it is because Ain't nobody really making music in like 415. Like it's just not important. There's like a pitch shift over here, so you can like crank it all the way up. It actually sounds kind of hard. Low sounds like this. It sounds pretty good. By the way, obviously, this isn't just raw vocals. I have a vocal preset that I'm using in the background, which you can learn more about by subscribing to this channel. I got videos on how to sound like Travis Scott, Uzi, Yeet, basically anybody. There's also this preserved formants thing. And another cool thing it has, it has kind of like a choir effect. I'm not really sure what it is, but it basically like doubles your vocals so you can hear it. It's a vibe, it's a vibe, baby wanna. It's a vibe, it's a vibe, baby wanna. It's a vibe, it's a From what I can tell, it's basically just like the un-auto-tuned vocal stacked on top of like the main auto-tuned vocal, which I mean, has a cool effect, but I don't see many reasons for you to use it. Now, this is really cool for when it comes to like experimenting, because like, for instance, we go back to this keyboard thing and we could just like say fuck it and just go, you cannot sing any note except A. And now it sounds like this. It's a vibe, it's a vibe, baby wanna. It's a vibe, it's a vibe, baby wanna. So you can just do a bunch of dumb shit and I mean it sounds pretty good in my opinion which is pretty funny it's cool for just random experimentation uh, I think it's really good from all the auto tunes that I've checked so far I've got to say that Grayland 2 has been the best sounding one compared to like a paid auto tune like auto tune pro I think it's this sounds very nice and I highly recommend it the link is in the description if this has been helpful to you consider donating uh, the little button down there or just subscribe and hit the bell for more tutorials like this I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, peace.